Hello, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to fill up and use a cream whipper. This is a Dinger's cream whipper or cream canister or cream dispenser. Um, it's powered by a nitrous oxide charger. Again, these are Dinger's. Okay, typically um, this would be used for whipping up cream for a dessert or even a lovely hot chocolate. Okay, the first thing to mention is these cream chargers. They are highly pressurized, so it's best not to keep them in the kitchen um, around the hot ovens or in sunlight or near a radiator. Keep them in a cool place, somewhere dry and uh, normal temperature. Typically in the box when you buy a dispenser, you'll have um, various nozzles, filters, and um, these are for whipping up the cream itself. The thinner one will give you a, a more even and controlled whip, whereas this thick one will give you a, a, a thicker, creamier whip. This nozzle here um, is where you will place the charger. And that allows you to screw it onto the dispenser in order to fill it up and pressurise the canister for whipping. Okay, so the first thing we've done with this is give it a good clean, it's brand new, so we've washed it out. We're gonna fill it with some double cream. Double cream's fine, you don't have to go for whipping cream. The pressurisation from the nitrous oxide will whip the cream itself. Um, so just go ahead. You probably want about half a pint in there, obviously you're gonna be filling it with pressurised gas as well, so you don't wanna fill the whole thing up with cream. Um, this is 284 mil, so that's a good enough size. Okay, you need your cream charger in the in the nozzle. We're going to screw that onto the top. Put the lid back on. You can see we've already taken this cap off enables us to now put the cream charger in. Okay, you want to screw this right down and the gas is going to fill up into the chamber of the dispenser. Okay, you can hear that's now pressurised. Leave that on there, you can take it off, but um, it's best while it's pressurised to keep that sealed. Okay, this handle is going to allow you to release the cream. Um, you probably want one of these on there to keep it controlled, otherwise it's going to spurt out everywhere. Um, we're going with the thick one, we're going, to, we're going to do it on hot chocolate, so the thick one's best to use in this situation. The thicker whip is going to flow easier on your hot chocolate. Okay, this, this as mentioned, is the handle for releasing. Um, you, can press, you can tighten this up um, by controlling the head that we've just just place the nozzle on. It just depends on if you want more control over the, the handle itself. Okay, you probably want to shake this up to get the cream whipped. Okay, now we're ready to um, whip our cream up into a dessert or a nice hot chocolate. I'm going to control with the, the lever here and it's a lot like a water pistol so it's pressurised if you if you yank that lever right the way back it's going to square all over the place so I have a bit of control pull it back close slowly and allow the cream to come out There we go. Beautiful hot chocolate. Done. Hello, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to fill up and use a 
cream whipper. This is a Dinger's cream whipper or cream canister or cream dispenser. Um, it's powered by a nitrous oxide charger. Again, these are 